Well, over the weekend, we breached 100 days of lockdown. And from having most of our freedoms limited to being allowed back into society, just when the COVID-19 pandemic is at its worst, Graham Robenheimer takes a look back at the last 100 days. Hard lockdown commenced on the 27th of March, 2020. No travel, no school, no alcohol, no cigarettes. Stay indoors, only leave home if you need food and medicine. And no rotisserie chicken. And remember the confusion over whether you could walk your dog? We also witnessed police arrest a street vendor for selling acha and heard how soldiers allegedly killed a man for drinking in his own yard. Life now may seem like it's back to normal, but the truth is that the storm is here. Some people are still struggling with the idea that, I mean, is there this coronavirus thing? Is it real? So we have people who believe that. And then um, some people are scared. You know, some people even now are still on lockdown level five. Um, and we, we also know that now there are some competing needs. We have people thinking about, should I stay at home uh, to be safe or should I go and work for my family and make some money? What a conundrum. It's a new world, a new horizon, and our minds have to be the strongest resource that we have. Everything is going to happen. You're going to make it or you're going to break it in your mind. You're going to make it or break it in your soul, in your spirit. And it's just a case of what you can control, you keep a hold of. What you cannot, you let go of. And Carol's ultimate advice right now? I'll say stay away from the news. <laughs> But Carol says even that is extreme. And really, South Africans still have to watch the news to know what the next lockdown chapter holds. Graham Rovenheimer, Johannesburg.